I'm Selena Green Warren and I am the kindergarten teacher here at the Kingfield Elementary School and I'm also the school garden coordinator. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little quick tour of our school garden and our art outdoor learning spaces and just give you a brief history of um, where, how, how we've come to this point and where we plan to go in the future. And over here is our garden space. So um, here's our one picnic table um, that we have right now. Um, hoping to get more tables in our new outdoor learning space. And here's our garden. So as you can see, we have four raised beds. And these first two beds um, in the front here, we planted or we put together and started planting in the spring of 2015. That was our first garden season. Um, and we put together these two beds with um, donations from community members and local businesses. And then the next year in 2016, we built the back two garden beds. Um, again, with a lot of donations and community support. The shed space that you see over here, this uh, green shed kind of serves two purposes. So it's um, one side greenhouse, and other side shed storage space. As you can see, our garden is situated um, in such a beautiful spot, um, gorgeous view of the mountains, and you see our school garden as you drive up the driveway, uh, which is really nice. So what we have going on here, uh, we have a, a pair of some water barrels, and as you can see, they're situated just right um, at the corner of the building. So not only are these water barrels the source of water for our gardens, but it teaches children the importance of conserving water. no water. Um, all of the water is meant for our plants in the garden. It's got to be played with. So that's a really important lesson that they're learning. when we started our Growing Gardeners uh, School Garden Program, it was an after-school program that students signed up for. The after-school program in the spring looked a lot like children getting gardens ready for the summer and some just healthy tips on healthy snacks. But in the fall, when we resume our program for Growing Gardeners, everything that we cook, we cook um, from something that we've harvested from the school garden. So every week, children, um, we feature a vegetable from the garden and our partner, Laura Quinn, comes with all of her nutrition knowledge and expertise in cooking with children and teaches the children how to make something healthy with something that we've harvested from the garden. In October is our family harvest meal. And so the first year we did that, I believe we did it with just a few families in my classroom. We moved into the cafeteria and now it's turned into an event of over a hundred people in our gymnasium every fall. The kids cook all the food for that meal. They set up the, the meal space and they also serve all of their families. So as you can see, we have a pretty beautiful playground outdoor space. The kids are, are free to um, play within the trees and explore in nature at recess time. Um, it's a big part of um, what we do here at Kingfield and we really worked hard in the past year or so to promote place-based education. So one of our new programs um, that we just started this year as another outdoor learning space in addition to the school garden that we established five years ago is kindergarten forest school 
And so it's also a program and project that we are um, working to improve so that children have more outdoor spaces to learn in. So let's go check out Forest School. <music> Um, this this year we would come out here unless it was too cold or pouring rain and we would gather by the meeting tree by hooting each other in hoo, hoo, hoo. we'd start with um, you know some expectations for the day then they'd get some exploration time we'd come back for lesson time and then the practice activity um, so this has been a special place and our hope is that we can improve this learning space a little bit um, with some benches in our meeting area, and um, especially now more than ever, make it an available outdoor learning space for not just kindergarten for a school, but for all teachers and students in our school community. In the fall of 2019, uh, Kingfield Elementary School applied to be a pilot school for the Green Team Project. Uh, which was in collaboration with the Maine Math and Science Alliance. And the whole purpose of that project was to work to seek and find your community partners to improve outdoor education and outdoor learning spaces. So when our team convened, the three goals that came out of that work were the composting initiative, which we are starting up in the fall of 2020, also came out of that initiative and work was the improvement of our forest school space um, as just an additional outdoor learning space for our students. So we're gonna hope to improve that space. And then the third goal that came out of that project was the raising of funds to build an outdoor learning pavilion that would serve as a physical outdoor space for students uh, to bring learning from the classroom outside. So Penny, what's your favorite part about having a school garden? I kind of really like eating the food after it's been grown and watering it. And watering it? Rocco, I'm going to come ask you. Oh, here goes. You ready? Rocco, what's your favorite part about having a school garden? My favorite part is eating all the food that are not going yet. I mean, the food that is going. The food that is growing. Awesome. 